Hey, my name is Billy Link. I'm with HP Auto, and today we're going to talk about my 2008 Porsche 997 GT3 RS. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe and turn notifications on. And if you have any special videos you want to see from us, let us know. We'll be happy to make them for you. All right, so anyway, here it is. It's been pretty much my dream car for the past four years, and uh, I finally got it. So um, I'm not one to leave car stock. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff done to it. Um, but basically it started out with 8,800 miles. Um, it's already got 13,000 on it after a couple months because I drive all my cars a ton. And um, we've done quite a few upgrades. So we can start with the interior. Um, pretty much right off the bat, got the GT2 cup seats for it. Um, I like the, the Carrera GT seats, which those are supposed to come in the car if the car is from Europe, but it's not and they don't recline, which makes it difficult because I need to get in the back and stuff, so. But it's got the uh, GT2 seats. Um, we also upgraded to a carbon steering wheel with a orange Alcantara stitching, the orange stripe. We've got the GMG cage in the back and it's nice powder coated in a pure orange, so it matches the car pretty good. That's pretty much it on the interior for now. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more carbon accents and stuff later on to kind of, you know, break up the orange a little bit because there's a ton of orange on this thing. But yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Oh, and it has Apple CarPlay, which is a major bonus. If you have a 997, I highly recommend Apple CarPlay. I love this car 10 times more now. On the outside, um, I got a set of HREs for it. I actually got these off a of form. Um, got them from a guy I had on Cayman. Obviously they're three piece wheels, so we broke them down, made them a little bit wider. Um, I kind of like a really aggressive fitment on my car. So there's a little bit of stretch on the front tires. Um, we also power coat the calipers orange to match the uh, exterior color. Um, in the back, it's uh, a 19 by 13 setup. A little bit of stretch as well here. Just a little bit cleaner fit. We're actually gonna lower the car just a touch more to get, get the fitment just a little bit better. Um, I'm actually in the process too of putting the dot two fender flares on, and then also the cup lower front splitter. So that'll look a lot cleaner on the car. Um, as far as the rear goes, I love the 997 dot two wing. Um, dot one is cool and looks good, but I just prefer the set more. It looks a little more aggressive, a little more modern. And we've also got the wing risers that Sharkworks sells, which looks phenomenal. Um, it's actually not painted right now because my car is still in the project phase. Um, also did the LED tail lights in the rear, which is pretty nice, clean upgrade. And we're gonna go with a dot two rear bumper to get rid of the, the little bumpers or impact beams in the back, so to speak. Yeah, so we're, we're still test fitting this. It's, it's not completed, the deck lid obviously. It's gonna get painted sometime after Thanksgiving. We've got the Dun Dun Motorsports um, air intake on it. I've got the Fab Speed race headers. I've got the factory side mufflers though. So like my neighbors don't completely hate me in the morning. But, you know, I prefer the straight pipes up. So with that being said, it's got the sole center muffler delete. So I can just flip the valve, full straight pipes. It sounds insane. But here's the best part about, this car was inspired by a Champion Motorsports build. Um, I think the car was built in like 2010 or 11, something like that. And um, pretty much everything on this car was kind of inspired from it. Well, that car came up for sale not too long ago. Long story short, I bought the car and I'm getting the engine out of it, I'm getting the suspension out of it, and everything. So this thing is gonna have a 3.8 cup engine swap being performed on it, which is gonna sound insanely good. Um, it's got nice cams, nice idle. It's gonna be quite a bit more horsepower. Um, I don't wanna say a number two actually put on the dyno and tune it, but it's gonna be stout. So um, that's pretty much it though, um, as far as upgrades for now. Um, pretty much my goal which a lot of people might frown upon is I'm actually not gonna track this car. Um, I might, but it, that's probably not gonna happen. It's more of a really good car that I can drive wherever I want, have a ton of fun. If I wanna go fast on the back roads, I can. Um, but I'm just not gonna track it because it's just too rare. There's only 32 in 08 in this color spec. Um, obviously in 08 Porsche has significantly decreased the units they built. So it's a little bit more harder to, to replace if I wreck it or something happens. So. But yeah, that's it. That's my GT3 RS. That's kind of my plans for it. I um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to check back for more.
Mm-hmm.